Hi guys! Welcome to um, story time with Amy. So, I've decided to catch up on reading for young children. So, so yeah. So, today's story, today's story is called Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, a king and queen had a beautiful baby girl. They loved her very much. The the king and queen invited the twelve fairies in the kingdom to the baby's christening. But they didn't invite the thirteenth fairy, who was mean. On the day of the christening, every fairy came to give the princess a special gift. One wished that she would always be happy. Another wished that she would be loved all her life. One by one, they gave the princess their wishes. They had nearly finished when the door burst open and the mean fairy walked in. She was very cross at being missed out at the party. The bad fairy walked up to the baby's cradle and said let me give her a gift too i say that when she is 15 she will prick her finger on a spindle and fall down dead then she walked out everyone was very upset but the 12th fairy came forward i have not yet given my gift she said i cannot take away the bad wish but i can change it a little the princess will not die Instead, she will sleep for a hundred years until she is woken by a true love's kiss. But if she doesn't wake for a hundred years, no one will be there when she wakes up, and our castle will, will be in ruins, said the queen. I will arrange it so that everyone goes to sleep with her, and that the castle and everything in it are there when she wakes up said the fairy. The king was so worried about the bad fairy's wish that she arranged for all spindles in the kingdom to be burned. The princess grew up and everyone loved her. She laughed and sang all day long and she was a kind and lovely young girl. One day, when the princess was fifteen, she found a staircase in the castle that she had never seen before. She went up the stairs and found a little bedroom, and there she saw an old lady spinning wool into a spindle. Of course, it was the mean fairy in disguise. What's this funny thing? the princess asked, and she touched the spindle. At that moment, she pricked her finger on it and fell and fell onto the bed fast asleep. At the same time, everyone in the castle fell asleep, uh, the king on his throne, the queen with her ladies in waiting. The, the, uh, the cook in the kitchen and the horses in the stable. At the same time, a thick hedge of thorny bushes grew up around the castle. It was completely hidden, and after a few years, all the people of the land forgot it was there. One day, one hundred years later, a prince came riding by. He saw the hedge and decided to chop his way through with his sword. The fawns ripped at his clothes, but he kept going. Finally, the prince was through the hedge. He walked into the he walked into the palace, which was now covered in dust and cobwebs everywhere. Pe- everywhere, people were sleeping. Even the birds in the garden and the flies on the window sills were asleep. Window sills were asleep. The prince eventually came to a little bedroom in a tower. On the bed in this room was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen, lying asleep. In that moment, he fell in love with her. The prince bent down and kissed the princess. As soon as he did this, she opened her eyes, and in that moment, she fell in love with him. They walked down through the palace together, where everyone had woken up now. When they found the king and queen, the prince asked their permission to marry their daughter. The king and queen...
Happily agreed. The wedding took place one week later and they invited all the fairies to the celebrations. Except the bad one. The end. Bye guys!